Okay guys, so I just wanted to go over a quick thing that I've been working on in IPython that I thought would be really useful um, to the community. And so I'll just do it really quickly here and then plot it. So first let's just get um, that plot lib. Matplotlib and rhyme, and let's also import pandas. Let's just get some random data frame. So cool. So we have our data frame. Now, um, one of my main issues with the IPython notebooks is the use of screen real estate. So here we plotted out a data frame, and now we have to go all the way down here, and it's very serial, and it's kind of hard to do the workflow. So I thought it would be cool to allow a cell style um, and a split cell style. So now we said split, and so it's not, right now it doesn't split the cell that you're in, but the next cell you create will be split. So now we can our data frame and if we say df.head here so you can see we have a cell on the left and a cell on the right so then we can say something like uh, df.plot you know so you have um, left cell right cell and you can look at the different plots right next to each other this is a really good way to display information I think a really useful addition to IPython um, so right now I just kind of pulled the Jupyter notebook down and forked it um, and so hopefully if this is interesting and enough uh, we can I can get some momentum and try and merge this into the upstream uh, and maybe add different types of ways to manipulate cells like a, a drag and drop or um, something like that but anyway right now this is what we have and so you can see while you're in cell styled it's just going to keep creating side by side and so if I had like a big data frame here um, everything still works you can still move cells around up and whatnot um, and so like if I have this data frame here it's just gonna cre keep creating cells on the right until it's done there and then it'll go back to start and then we can just go back to cell style we're gonna go back to centered and then again the next one you make is gonna be centered uh, and we can move that all around still just like the other thing and preserves indexes and everything it's pretty slick. Uh, I think it'll be pretty useful um, for people that want to show things side by side. So that's all for now. Um, uh, post some more videos up in the future uh, with different items.